Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. Thank you for coming to today's live stream. Today is day 12 of 21 days of healing ourselves through serving others. And today is uh, uh, the second Friday, if you will, have done this. Um, and then I believe we're going to, we're not going to be able to finish on the next Friday. Uh, that'll be like the 19th day. And so you'll have to finish on the weekend, on a Saturday and Sunday. But that's okay. Uh, it will be still an excellent total of 21 days that we can move towards serving others and healing ourselves at the same time. So today is Friday, and it is the uh, 30th of the month. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sure many of you are planning on quite some festivities. Uh, that's not necessarily been something that's on my agenda the last couple of years. Uh, actually, I'll most likely be uh, spending some time at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. <clears throat> and I invite you, if you do not have New Year's Eve plans, uh, because it's New Year's throughout the day, uh, to attend some of the activities and events that will ha be happening at Master Shah's uh, Healing Center. Um, and so that'll be a very... Uh, good experience. I know that Master Shah himself will be offering a New Year's blessing and uh, for those that have not signed up I highly encourage you to do so as it's a complimentary blessing and it will be, begin at 9 a.m. Hawaii time so that's going to be 11 a.m. Pacific time that'll be approximately noon Eastern time that'll make it about um, what midnight in the UK huh and so or maybe earlier than that maybe 10 o'clock in the UK and so forth around the globe so I hope that you can make uh, that special blessing. And even if you cannot be there present because you're sleeping, please um, uh, register for it because your soul will receive that blessing. So uh, tomorrow is going to be basically New Year's Eve, and that'll be a great opportunity to really connect with your soul and your soul journey and to really uh, look backwards. You know, look back at this whole last year. And my encouragement would be to look at what is positive. You know, I got a call the other day from one of my students, and um, she was saying how, how it doesn't feel like much has changed, that it's been very, very difficult this last year, uh, and especially this last, you know, couple of months. Now, she is a relatively newer student to Master Shah, although she had heard about him years ago. Uh, it had come back around through some of my live streams, and she's made a lot of forward progress. And so I reminded her of some of the forward progress she had told me about. And uh, I said, I'm confident there's quite a bit more forward progress than that. So why is it that you're feeling so, you know, upside down and, and, and um, sad and, and uh, other emotions that she was expressing? And what was happening was she was focusing on all that had not changed. And some of those things, at least in this student's case, was not necessarily uh, in her control. In, in her case, she had significant blockages with family, with relationships, uh, uh, with uh, brothers, sisters, and uh, parents. And you know, she'd spent the majority of her life trying to receive their approval. So even though she has made significant improvement in this last six months, she sees no movement from them, and she starts to wonder why. And she thinks um, uh, maybe she has not done something right, or maybe it's not working, blah, blah, blah. So I just gently pointed out to her that, you know, what, look at where your focus is at. It's certainly not on gratitude. It's not for great gratefulness for all the change that has occurred <clears throat> in these past three, four, five, six months. And that brings back to some of the base teachings uh, that Master Shah never talks about necessarily, but it's a good understanding, which is what we, where we place our focus on is, is what we manifest into our lives. And so my encouragement to you today on this last day of this new year that I'll be working with you before I see you next year um, is to take a look back in gratitude. Look at every single positive thing that has come about through you wanting to expand your soul journey. It's so easy for us to fall into the patterns <clears throat> of focusing on the negative because that's what we're so used to. And that's why it's easiest 
to, to fall back on those patterns. But what could be a whole lot more healthy for us, and certainly a lot better for us in the long run, is to focus on all of the positive things that have happened in this last year. Because that sets forth a positive energy, a positive manifestation, and a positive intention for our new year. It also brings us the idea that we can have those things that we desire. <clears throat> so waiting for wireless to catch up. Okay, it's not quite yet. So that the, the idea is we must focus on positive. So for the telephone, for the wireless signal, clear packages. I'm clearing blockages again in the phone and in the wireless signal uh, so that you can hear me clearly, which now I see you can. Thank you to my healing treasure for that blessing. So as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the wireless stream, um, focusing on the positive is very important for this upcoming year. When we look backwards and we look at all of those things that we have accomplished, not what I didn't accomplish, not what I said I was going to accomplish but failed to accomplish. We don't want to place our energies and our focus on anything that brings any form of negativity to us. Tell me what possible value is there in that? There isn't. So why would you want to go down that road? So as you review your year, look at every single positive thing that has occurred, no matter how minute it was. What is minute? Finding a $1 bill on the ground. Okay, that's abundance. What is minute? When, when somebody says they love you and they haven't in a long, long, long time. So every little thing that you can focus on is going to shift your consciousness so that as you move into this coming year, as you make your New Year's resolution, you can do it with a, a, a positivity and a, a belief and a knowingness that good things have already been happening and there's no reason good things won't continue to happen. This is the value of keeping an eye on our mindsets. And so I want to acknowledge all those that have joined us. So welcome to Lisa Prado. Welcome, Tammy. Welcome, Dana. Good to see you, Ilona, coming in from the other side of the world. Amy, Teresa Brown, uh, good to see you. CJ and Kristen joined in. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome, Linda. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Zilke. <coughs> welcome, um, Archana, welcome Nina and Joanne, Joanna, welcome Delma, good to see you Scott, made a little earlier today, welcome Tawana, and welcome back Michelle, glad that you were able to find your way back here, hopefully it'll make a little more sense each day that we work through this, welcome uh, Govinda Raju. So today is day 12 of 21 days of service to others and as a result we naturally receive healing for ourselves. Yesterday we focused on opening more of the message center and we did a pretty good and deep forgiveness practice around that making sure that we um, recognize that if our message center is closed, if our heart center is closed, it's not accidental. We might uh, say, well, it's because my, my ex-husband, my ex-wife has been, you know, really mean to me. Uh, we could say any number of things, point fingers outside of us. But in almost every case, it is a, a root that has a karmic base in that if that person or persons that we might be pointing our fingers at, most likely we've, we've done that kind of a thing to others or them. And that's why our heart is not so open. So welcome, Judas. Welcome, Loveness. For those of you that are not aware, <coughs> Loveness is starting her own live stream chanting uh, Love, Peace, and Harmony. And she has a beautiful calligraphy um, that um, you may wish to receive a blessing from. Um, this calligraphy is very special. It just came as a, as a blessing from Dr. Master Shah to her at this last retreat. And it's very important to honor for it. Um, it's not something that, that she should or could offer for free because of the extraordinary power that's in the calligraphy. It's called Da I, which is greatest love. And it's probably one of the highest calligraphies available for blessings on the planet today. So make sure you connect with loveness uh, to receive a calligraphy blessing. It could literally change your life. Um, and so just text her 
I'm sure she'd be happy to connect with you. And then, Loveness, if you want, you can uh, uh, report your day that you'll be doing your uh, live stream chanting of love, peace, and harmony so others are aware of it. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. <clears throat> we place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. We drop our left hand in front of our heart center, our right hand gently pointed upwards. Close your eyes. Let us fully connect. There are all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the Source, dear Original Creator, dear Master Shah, dear all of our individual Sherfus, Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, dear our Downloads and Treasures, downloaded onto our soul, dear all Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Masters, Ascended Masters, Healing Angels, Archangels, dear beloved Namo Amitofu, Beloved Krishna, Buddha, Kuan Yin, dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, dear beloved Mani Buddha, Medicine Buddha, Da Shurjur, Pusa, dear beloved Ganesha, we love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all, respect you, and I bow down to you. We ask at this time to come to sit at each of our heart centers. Bless us in this practice today to align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to heavens, soul, heart, minds, and bodies. Bless us to release any of the negativity that we may be holding on to in this last year that would inhibit us from a positive outlook into our new year. And as we chant and offer service today for others so that they too could release their negativity, we ask that in whatever way is appropriate, you bless us that ours could be released as well. We ask that you replace this message with positive gratitude, that we look at everything from a mind of, I'm not sure if this is the best, but I know that God has a plan and it will always serve my best in the soul journey in the long run. Do the soul of the highest and best outlook for this coming year, could you please come at this time to sit with each of us and offer your guidance when I offer a flow a little later on. Thank you. To the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes, transmitted to our souls and every soul in our body. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. And again, I bow down to you. We ask at this time that you please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes to turn their source soul song of love, peace, and harmony on and to join us as we chant to connect. So let us chant. <coughs> Lula, Lula, li. Lula, Lula, la, li. Lula, Lula, li, lula, lula, ha, li, lula, lula, ha, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oh, I washing Oh, I trod red lay. Oh, i her musher shong, shong ai ping on a she, shong ai ping on a she. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Again. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula, lula, ha, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I trod red lay. 
王丽英让儿母受伤，相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome, Ali. Welcome, Judas. Welcome, Loveness. <coughs> welcome, Kathy Schneider, and welcome anybody else that has arrived whose name I have not seen. And so, as it is with each day, <coughs>、um, I tried to follow flow, and as I was communicating with you. The subject naturally came up about being the end of the year and looking back with the right mindset, as it will assist us greatly in moving forward into this next year. And so, what we will do is we will do、uh, chanting and practice and service to assist others with removing negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs about this last year. And we will do that in just a little bit. But I'd like to also at this time go ahead and、uh, ask for some a soul reading on the this last year, and、um, see if there's any guidance, wisdom, and insights that can best serve us, so that we have the right perspective on everything that happens in our life. Because sometimes we're so caught up in our drama, we're so caught up in our suffering that we cannot see the value of each day as it goes by. Let us find out what heaven has to say about that. All right, <coughs> dear divine Tao and Source, dear Master Shah, dear all beings serving the planet of the light side, I love you and I respect you. Could you please、uh, offer your guidance at this time, dear the soul of the question about the guidance for the right perspective for looking back on this year, and whichever is the highest soul that's best to Answer this question. Could you please come forth, borrow my mouth, allow me to speak your words? Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is the divine. Have you ever noticed that the rainbow is made of seven unique colors, and that each of those colors, when the rainbow is created, meld together as one? Have you ever seen a rainbow where the colors are separated by space? Where they are distinctly individual, I have not, and so I doubt. Either have you. I created each of you with a rainbow in your body. Each of you has each of these colors, interconnected, never separate. You are, and have always been, never. Separate from anything, from anyone, or from me, your beloved divine. And so, when I observe you, my beloved children, in angst, in disharmony, in such treacherous mind places, that you would think about. Such unpleasant things that you would not be able to see the beauty of the rainbow that is inside you, that permeates not only your hearts but the entirety 
of every space in your body. There is literally not a space in your body that is not being harmonized with my seven colors. And so the question has been arisen, how does one look back at this year? How can one look at what has happened from a positive perspective? <clears throat> the first thing to understand is you are alive. And life is so exceptionally precious. So few truly have gratitude for life. The flower is beyond grateful for its life. Just about everything that is other than human is grateful for its life. And so why does the human focus on the negative? It has to do with the usage of time. <clears throat> In this third dimensional space, there is time and time allows for one to be in each moment for an, expen an extended period. It allows all of you to experience. And it is in the experience that I am further created and further manifest. It is in the experience and the resultant of that experience that I am either created in the form of unpleasantness or created in the form of beauty. How is it so that both can be created? Because it depends on your focus. If you focus on all in the past that has not been what you had wished for, then that is what you will bring forth because my rainbow light simply shines on whatever you place your focus upon. If instead you focus your thoughts on all that had been good, all that you had received, those little breaks that made a difference for you, those little moments in which you were able to truly enjoy the nature I brought you into, then you will discover that my rainbow light will also shine on that. And both, regardless of what is shined upon, will be expanded. Which one would you expand upon? There is a story, fable if you will, of the two wolves that the Native Americans like to speak of. And it is the same that I speak to you about. So as you move forward, focus on that which will bring you the greatest light, love, and the greatest happiness. Anything that does not bring you these emotions, simply let it go by and readjust your focus. Look for the silver lining, so to speak in each and every moment and upon all that is in the past that you look upon. And as you create your future coming forward, if something negative should come into your focus, simply recognize that it no longer serves you and to not give it attention, but to instead realign your focus to that which will bring you the greatest happiness. I am grateful to bring you this message on this day. For your happiness is my happiness, and your sadness is mine. Let us move forward together in love, peace, and harmony. This is your beloved Divine. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine. Thank you for that very beautiful, beautiful message. Okay, and thank you, uh, everyone, for your sharing. <clears throat> All right. 
so many of us, I am confident, do move forward in positivity. We do it in the face of difficult times because we know on an innate level that it is the highest and best choice that we can have. And sometimes it just feels so very, very difficult. And, uh, you know, I was chatting with a student yesterday and uh, this student was having great difficulty regarding um, receiving the love from the parents. And what they had come to the conclusion of was that it shouldn't be something that they put so much emphasis on, that the love needs to come from love of self and love to the divine. And when we place our love on self, forgive self, honor self, love self, and we give our credit and value, appreciation to the divine for everything we could possibly think of. When we keep our focus there, then we realize that we don't need to do things to be approved by the parents or to receive a, a appreciation from outside of us because that's false and it's temporary. It no longer serves us. And so this is a similar message that the divine has given us. So let us practice to serve humanity and we're going to uh, ask this practice to assist other human beings to release negative focus and perspective on things from the past. Okay, That'll be as appropriate, which is always the case. <clears throat> so let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, and we're going to connect. We're going to do a forgiveness practice first, okay? So I encourage you to follow along behind me. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, please repeat. My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I love you love you love you deeply and honored and appreciative that I can communicate with you like this I ask beloved divine Tao and source to please bless me today as I chant for others to help me to release negative thinking and focus on negative things regarding my past please bless me to see all things from past from a place of gratitude and positivity I am very grateful for your blessings. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear all souls in this and all lifetimes, that I or my ancestors have harmed, please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. Please forgive us, especially if I or my ancestors have spoken to you with great negativity, lack of respect. If we have communicated with you in such a way as to produce a lack of hope, a lack of gratitude, a lack of appreciation, if we have spoken to you in such a way to not, uh, uh, not, up, not bring uplifting thoughts to you, truly, deeply, sincerely, sincerely, sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have pushed you down held you down done things to cause you to become depressed heavy-hearted thinking there will never be a positive outcome we deeply 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 and sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have ever done anything to you in any lifetime that has caused you to feel um, like it doesn't matter what you do, it will never make a difference. If we have said or done anything to you that quelched, stopped you in your tracks when you were trying to express positivity or gratitude or appreciation. If we have just been naysayers and do not want to hear uh, positive things, truly, deeply and sincerely apologize to any uh, of my loved ones mother father brothers sisters children if I have communicated with you from anything other than positive supportive appreciation if I have communicated with you in such a way that has caused you to feel a lack of love and gratitude a lack of appreciation I deeply 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 apologize 
I know that each of you, my parents, my brothers and sisters, and my children, you may in this or previous times may have communicated with me in very negative ways. You may have offered me a lack of respect, a lack of gratitude. You may have treated me in such a way where it is very difficult for me to remain positive around you. I wish to release you fully and completely of this karmic debt that you may have with me. And I ask most sincerely for your forgiveness if I have been this way towards you in this or any lifetime. I deeply and sincerely apologize. I have been on the receiving end of some of your negativity and I am clear I may have been the cause of that at some point in time. I forgive you. Please forgive me. I invite, continue to repeat, I invite all of my ancestors and all the souls that have been harmed by negativity to chant with us. And I ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony that as I chant you, could you please go to all the souls in humanity that are looking backwards in time with negative thoughts, mindsets, negative perspectives, negative beliefs, and give them blessings as appropriate to become more positive as they look at their past and their future. We ask Heaven Divine Down Source and all souls to chant with us. We ask that this blessing occur only as appropriate through the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. We're very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So for those that are not familiar with it, La Kristen has posted the soul language. Uh, you can find it in the chat box. Also, you'll be able to find the PDF and the download for the MP3. So let us chant, and we will, we will chant for uh, 15 minutes for this service. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, shin, er, ling. Wo, ai, trun, ran, le. Wong, li, hi, rung, her, mu, shur, shung. Shong, ai, ping, on, a, she. Shong I ping on a share. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony lula lula li lula lula la li lula lula li Lula ha li lula Lula ha li lula Wo ai wo shin herling Wo ai trun ran lei Wong li ying rung Her mu shir shang Song I ping on her say. Song I ping on her say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. And now let us ask for additional service. Dear, repeat after me. Dear the soul of, state the condition that you have been using this last 12 days. To the soul of my sore neck, to the soul of my condition of, dot, dot, dot. To the soul of my financial blockages, whatever it is that you've been working on, state that. To the soul of, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You are a soul. You have many souls that make up you inside my body. Chant with me to serve all of these other souls, to help them release their negativity and to become more positive. Do a good job. Thank you. Let us continue. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I trod red lay. Only he rung. Her musher shang, shong ai ping on a she, shong ai ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls to. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula. La li lu la lu la li lu la lu la li lu la. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I trod Randle. Wang li hing rung her musher shang. Shuang ai ping an a xie Shuang ai ping an a xie I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I throne ran late. Wang li hing rung, her musher shang. Shuang ai ping an a xie Shuang ai ping an a xie I love my heart 
and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Let's chant silently at this time. Lula, lula, li. I will offer third eye images as to what is happening for all of the souls that we are chanting for. <coughs> How, as this request was made, there were many in the heavenly realms and from the special calligraphies that gathered. They gathered and created special positivity bubbles. These bubbles subdivided and went to all of the souls that harbor negative thinking about this past year. And these bubbles were released in each of these souls' message centers. When they were released, the bubble spread into billions of little positivity bubbles. And each of those dispersed to all of the negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that could have been limiting a soul from thinking more positive. As these bubbles traipsed through each and every soul's body, they burst much like your soap bubble does, releasing the positivity and nullifying the negativity. There are so many grateful souls. This practice and this chanting truly could not be done enough. For if one falls off the wagon, so to speak, and reverts to negativity, just like the positive thought, it too can grow. And so it takes more diligence for the negative thought to not grow. It takes more awareness this blessing also came with heaven's animals, and they are doing a tremendous service, clearing Shen Qi and Jing blockages as you continue to chant. The source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, which has been transmitted to every soul in every universe, had already been put on alert and was already chanting and serving inside of all of those souls that were receiving this blessing. As you continue to chant, the frequency inside of these individual billions of souls worldwide continue to expand and prosper. Let us continue. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, shin, er, ling. Wo, ai, tron, ran, le. Wang Ling Rong Her Mooshur Shang Shang I Ping on Shang I Ping on I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha maia. Eloha kakoa pao. 
Epihili mai puvai kako Aloha malie lokahi Aloha malie lokahi Lula lula li Lula lula la li Lula lula li lula Lula li lula Lula li lula Wo ai wo xin er ling Wo ai tran ran le Ang li hing rung er mu shir shang Cho ang ai ping an a xie Cho ang ai ping an a xie I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace, and harmony. Last round. Lula lula li, lula lula la li, lula lula li lula, lula li lula, lula li lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai tran ran le, wo li hing rong er mu shi sheng, shuang ai ping an e xie, shuang ai ping an e xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So stay tuned in to your body. Notice if you went into a, the hunden, into that unconscious place, that's where all of the healing occurs, when you're in that unconscious place chanting for others. So anybody please share your third eye images or insights you've received. Also, I would like to hear what three things. I want to hear three things <clears throat> that you are most grateful for this last year. Let us share amongst each other. <clears throat> and I will share also. I am most grateful for my teacher elevating me to being a divine channel. I am most grateful for the opportunity to serve so many souls in such a powerful way with this Facebook live stream medium. And I am very grateful for my wife who supports me unconditionally. Those are the three things I'm most grateful for. Let me read yours. Thank you, Laura. So the answer is yes, of course, you will succeed as a healer because that's where your focus is at. 
just do the necessary work. We all have healing abilities, but often we don't give ourselves credit. Uh, if you would like to have a light wall protection to go with that healing ability, you might want to check with me. It's something that I can offer, and I recommend it to all um, body workers, anyone that does uh, body work, anyone that does any form of health care of any kind, nursing, any kind of health care, they really need light wall protection. And if you're a healer, you definitely need light wall protection. So make sure you connect with me on that uh, through Facebook Messenger, and I can tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, and so uh, I see also that Kristen's responded. She's grateful for her to my live stream. She's grateful for her son and her, her health. Cheryl Healing Ray went to an empty space. Uh, England. Welcome, England. She's grateful for her and her legs. Uh, her health seems to be better. Very good. And Dana says, uh, welcome. He's grateful for CJ. He's welcome for the Philippines. And he's welcome. Or he's grateful for uh, soul healing. Zilke says, I'm grateful for having received two more layers of the divine healing hands. Congratulations, Zilke. That's very powerful. And have been one week with Master Shah. Thank you. Countless bow downs and for all the blessings we have received. Yes, very blessed to be able to spend the time in the Master's presence and very blessed to have gotten two more layers. So that would mean that you either had the 10,000 layer or the uh, uh, ultimate divine layer. Congratulations. It's Johannes. Johannes says, I am grateful for my spirit mother and his dog and his breath. Beautiful. Johanna, 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 Johanna says, um, I didn't see anything tonight. Spirit were too, uh, were too busy walking around her room and playing with her hair. I'm grateful for this year for moving forward so much spiritually. Uh, I am grateful for being able to help so many others. I'm grateful for better financial abundance. And Laura says, thank you so much. I'm trying to succeed and theta healing. Good, theta healing is wonderful. Um, yeah, theta healing is, is actually very good. Um, it, it's limited in certain aspects um, to the human body. And so if you're interested in offering healing for other aspects, um, then look into uh, soul healing. Um, welcome Angie, good to see you. Teresa Brown says she's grateful for these videos that you do a great service and has brought me along. Uh, in a way, such a short time. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Divine Dao and Source, and thank you, Master Shah. Uh, I'm just a, a middleman. We want to make sure that we thank the, the Source for those things. Uh, Ultimate Divine Affinity Committee. Great. Linda Jansen says, I am most grateful for a growing spiritual awakening for your live streams, which has helped me grow more spiritually. Grateful for her family. Thank you, Linda. Delma, grateful for my financial blessings and my spiritual family. Cheryl Hilling, I'm most grateful for all the blessings and guidance from this lovely soul family and masters. I'm grateful for her dog, Luna, and for being alive. Nina Mystery, thankful for my parents still alive. My daughter is in the same city. My clients trust me and ask her advice. I received many uh, certs, Reiki, master teacher, and others. Crystal collection is very large. Never thought she could afford it. Congratulations, Nina. Excellent. Uh, wonderful, Angie. So how does it feel to state all those gratitudes, you know, especially after we do this chanting to serve others? Now, my encouragement to each of you is before the first of the month, so today and tomorrow, to try to fill an entire page of grateful statements. Um, I am grateful for and just list as many things as you can. Just stop and look around the room. And when you're done, go outside and look around and fill up some more on that piece of paper. And when you're done, go to the mall and fill out some more on that piece of paper. Because you could see somebody in a wheelchair. I'm grateful for my ability to walk. I'm grateful for my ability to see, for the, for the ability to smell the hot dogs. There's so many things we can be grateful for, and it's such a, an excellent and beautiful practice that allows us to stay in the right mind space for manifesting whatever our intention is. Uh, CJ says, this year has been grateful for me that I was able to meet my great influence. He shared with me many special things, opened his eyes, really, really shared the, about this practice with Master Paul. Wonderful. God bless. 
Um, Angel, Angel Hart, Aicha, coming in from Europe, I believe, UK, I think. Grateful for her friends, her kids, and her mom. See, that gave it away, her mom. I know now that you're from the UK area. Uh, Nina, thank you that I'm listening to Master Paul and learning. Oh, wonderful, happy to. <coughs> okay, so uh, enjoy your holiday. This weekend, uh, Saturday is the 31st. I offer you an open invitation. Kristen, if you're available, if you could post the link to the, um, to the uh, 31st at the Dow Healing Center in Honolulu, there's going to be a series of activities there throughout the day, uh, spiritual meditations, healing, healing practices together, divine healing hand circle. Um, there's going to be, of course, Dr. Master Shah will be live tomorrow morning. Um, 9 a.m. Hawaii time. I'm not sure what it is your time. If you have not already signed up for the complimentary New Year's Eve blessing, go to drshaw.com. Look for the New Year's Eve blessing. It should be on the front banner. It'll scroll through until you see it. Sign up for that complimentary blessing. Doesn't matter if you can be on the phone or not. It doesn't matter if you can be on the phone or not. It doesn't matter. Sign up. Your soul will receive a huge blessing. If you can be listening, even if you're at work, keep it in your ear. Uh, you receive huge wisdom blessings and so forth. And share it with your family. Anybody that says, yeah, I'd like to receive that blessing, just go in there, sign them up. You just need their email address and you can sign them up. Because every person has to have their own email uh, to sign up. But other than that, do that for anyone that you care about. The blessings are huge. We're trying to reach 10,000 people to sign up this year. So Angie says she's grateful for the opportunity to meet wonderful soul-healing people this year on her path. She's grateful to finally feel uh, she's making a difference in this lost world and definitely helping others um, and helping the world fill with more love and peace and harmony. Thank you. Loveness. Uh, thank you, Master Paul. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to be given this wisdom so that she may share it with all the souls. Love you, love you, love you. So again, a calling to Loveness, uh, Vesa. She has her new live stream going up or she'll be chanting love, peace, and harmony to serve humanity. Uh, so Loveness, please state your whens, your wheres, your hows. Um, ask people to, to like you and friend you. Um, and then also Loveness received an amazing, hugely powerful calligraphy. I think that she should uh, ask for an honor fee for it. I think the absolute minimum, if I was to, to do it, would be a minimum of $100 to receive a blessing from Greatest Love Calligraphy. It's got one of the highest powers on the planet today. It could literally remove some miracle blockages. Um, it could open up your heart. It could heal relationships. It could fix so many things in your life. So make sure you contact Loveness and uh, ask her about a calligraphy blessing and then join her live stream. Okay, and Kristen has um, placed a link in there. I'm guessing that that's to um, to uh, a request for, excuse me, for the uh, Dow Healing Center in Honolulu. Um, but you can also call, and I'll see if I can write down the number here, uh, 808-988-8090. That's the center number. And, hey, wow, it worked. Finally, they're allowing me to chat in my own live stream. They just, that's a new thing Facebook released. So they allow me to type in what I need to type in and chat. So thank you, Facebook. So you can call that number. That's the local center number. And you can connect with them that way for registration, okay? All right, guys. Love you, love you, love you. Let's say thank you, thank you, thank you. Divine, Tao, Source, all beings of light, beloved Master Shah, all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, all of our heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We thank beloved Nama, Amitofu, Shakyamuni, Fo, Medicine Buddha, Dasha, Dripuza. We thank Kuan Yin. We thank Happy Buddha. We thank Mani Buddha. We thank Ganesha. We thank Krishna. We thank all of the heavens animals, generals, and soldiers that have come today. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.